Okay, in this part of the tutorial, we're going to deal with pivot points and origins. So, I can't stress enough how important pivot points and origins are. Once you master these uh, pivot points and origins, um, it will help you more understand how to manipulate objects, etc. in Blender. So, it's very important that you understand how to use your 3D cursor, which is this object here, and your origins, which if we add another object, I'll show you what an origin is. If we got add, mesh, cube. You see that little point? Let's move the 3D cursor out. That point there is your origin. Every object you create has an origin point. So if we then move this object and we add another object, again, it's got another um, origin. Now, if you notice, what happened is when I created a new object, it created a, in the center of the 3D cursor. And the 3D cursor is this object here. Now, say for example, we move the 3D cursor and then we go add cube. You guessed it, it's going to create it right where that um, origin is. So add cube. So there you go. So you've got your that's your 3D cursor. So if you want to position an object, say you just wanted to position objects just there, right close by the, um, the face there. So we've got add cube and then create it there. So scale that down a bit. Okay. Now we can change the origin position and it's very simple to do. So say for example, we let's add a cube and then if we then we wanted this um, origin point in a different position. Now the reason why we would change an origin point position, I guess that, that would be an important place to start, is why would you need to change it? Like the, why you need to change it is at the moment, say we was to rotate this object, it's going to rotate around this particular, the center of it. But say we're doing some animation or we want to, you know, rotate it. We want to rotate it, but we don't want to rotate it around um, the center. We say we want to rotate it at the bottom of the object. And so therefore, we're going to want the origin to be at a different place. So if we click on the 3D cursor, move it down, and then we go right click on the object, and then you go set origin to 3D cursor. You see, it's moved now. So now if I rotate, this object is going to rotate around that point there. So it's really important that you understand um, and get used to using your your origins.